Hey guys, so today I'm really excited to show you the AquaView MultiView and how I set this up, how I hook it up to my Lowrance unit, and some fish down there. We're gonna look at some walleye, some uh, bluegill, there's some smallmouth in this area, so really cool features. I'm gonna show it to you here in a second and exactly how easy it is to hook up. You can see this is the MultiView, sits right in my lap, and we're gonna have a good time, so stay tuned. So this is the AquaView MultiView. And what this is, is how I display it right on my Lowrance unit. So there's a couple of things you need to look at here. We got this guy, which is the HDMI cable. That's how I plug it into my Lowrance in the back of the unit. And then we got the power supply here, which I have wired right on. So it actually just plugs right in. So I'm gonna go from here, connect that directly underneath my dash so that I have the power supply. And these two just snap right together nice and simple and once you have that hooked up when i get two hands we're going to keep going and that hdmi cable goes i run it on my right lorance unit usually so it's going to go up i'll take you guys back around here for a second and this port right here so when i don't have a unit on there i'll put a cap but when i'm using my lorance for the aqua view feature I plug it right in there so it's super easy you can see we kind of get it hooked up the aqua view there when we got the camera as we work our way around so you can see there it's got some different settings depending on which angle you want it to be this i have set for going straight down you can angle it forward angle it back this trolling fin is super super important so we got the AquaView XD trolling fin. That's what allows you to drop your camera to the bottom and then it's just gonna be kind of behind you, trolling along, drifting. And when I do this, typically I'm just using the, um, I'm doing this all from the driver's seat. It makes it really easy because I'm just kind of going along. I find a shoal, I find an area that I think should have some fish. Maybe I'll be going like here's a good spot area look to see some tight contour lines maybe you've already idled it you know there's some small mouth there maybe there's some rock there but or maybe you just don't know what the structure is or what the fish are maybe you went through there's a big school of them and there's a bunch of sheep's head uh drum uh walleye perch small mouth large mouth it could be a mix of everything so that's where that aqua view really comes into play and why i like to use that aqua view multi view um so after I get it all plugged in, what I'm going to do is I'll hit the power button. It'll light up blue, that little LED. And then I'm going to come over to my Lorance unit. I'm going to hit the pages button. And then you're going to go to video. So that's where it's going to show up. You need to make sure you select HDMI. So it comes actually on video one. Hit HDMI. That makes it read off that port. And then I'm going to exit out, hit the pages button again. And... Um, just go right to the video and you'll be in good shape the other thing you can do here if i come back more options and you can adjust the brightness the contrast these are my settings i like to bump the contrast way up it makes it read a lot better um, if you go back to hook this up originally to your phone if you would want to screen record and you got to get download the lorance app that way when you go to settings you're going to go to wi-fi connect your phone or tablet and you'll be able to actually just from the Lowrance app screenshot this and or take your camera and it'll show this and it connects everything for you or if you have to connect to the Wi-Fi password through your settings as well that's where you do that for but it's a great way that's how this video footage of this wall I'm about to show you um, showed up so it's a pretty cool way to see everything um, now let's go see what we can find and we're gonna drop down here 